So what I'm saying to you is, if you deal with the emotion, everything will change instantly around you. Your soul is the true thing that is guiding your life. Your soul is you, the real you, not the fictitious you, the, the bit of you you want to hold onto in here, right? Not your definition of you, it's what you really are. So if you're angry with men inside of your soul, that is what you're putting out in the universe. And you know, your young son who comes and screams at you occasionally is telling you that. You follow me? It's the soul attractions that are keeping on hammering you. And they're saying to you, you have these emotions within you right now. This is what's guiding your life. It's not what you think is guiding your life. You can make as many intellectual decisions as you want. Nothing is going to change until you feel the causal emotion inside of you. So, to get back to the soul. What is the soul? Yeah. So let's get back to the soul. <coughs> Here's my soul. All right. What part of it is me? It's the passionate part of me. It's the emotional part of me. It's the desiring part of me. It's the intentional part of me, the part that intends things. It's got free will. And this little thing here that we call a body, and this other little thing here that everybody wants to work on in the spiritual movement called their spirit body, right? So we're talking about the physical body, which you could call the material body, and the spirit body. They're just appendages of you. Why work on them? Why go along to these constant forms of therapy and all these kind of things? if they're not helping you emotionally. Right? Because this is the real you. This is the bit that you need to focus on if you want to have a relationship with God. It's what's in here that matters. And some of what's in there is truthful, loving, honest, open. And some of what's in there is fearful, judgmental, angry. And you need to release that bit and choose to release the bit that is causing the resistance within your soul and stop focusing on this metaphysical stuff. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Stop focusing on the metaphysical stuff. Um, when you have a physical element, is that... I know it's, it, it'll be an emotion you chose not to deal with. Yes. But does it just pop up on, in your body randomly or is it specific to where it pops up? Yep. Every, every physical ailment you have is a total reflection of soul condition things that you're holding on to. And each soul condition emotion affects a certain part of your body. And have you written stuff on what the organ represent? And, and I don't need to because there's so much material already written about all of that. But how, which one's accurate? Cause they're, they're um, all well, all those that concentrate on the emotion generally are more accurate than the ones that concentrate on the mind or the intellect. Right. So a lot of these things over the coming years will all be updated and, and sorted out. But at the moment, if you can re go back to this every single time, you've got a pain in your body. Who's got a pain lower back right at the moment? Right? Unworthiness issues right? to do with self-love. Right? Who's got a pain across their chest at the moment, feeling a bit of asthma, maybe tight chest? Grief. You need to cry. You need to do a lot more crying. Some explain liver. Some explain liver. All to do with fear. Right? A lot through here, all to do with fear, right? Eyes, not willing to see my problem, not willing to see the big picture. Uh, kidneys, uh, not off, I can't tell you off the top of my head. Sorry? And a lot of anger based emotions come out in your skin. So you'll find itchy skin, like hives. Um, you know, eczema, those kind of issues, often related to suppression of anger, which is the suppression of grief, really. Mm -hmm. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. Um, you should write there, a book on it, AJ. There is a book written on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got it in here, actually. No, I haven't. It's called The Body is the Barometer of the Soul. Yeah. Yeah. I've told you about it already, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty accurate. A lot of it is very accurate, yes. But, but, remember with all this, 
All right, I read the book and it says, yes, I've got a problem there with my, you know, feeling tight across my chest. It's to do with sadness. Does that help you? No. Because what do you need to do? You've got to feel the sadness. <laughs> so in the end, knowing where it is is, is is slightly helpful, but is it actually going to help you connect with it all underneath? Not unless you're totally willing to experience the emotion. So you need to get back into this. This is the real you. Every time you deny the real you, you are not loving the real you. Do you, do you follow me with that? Yeah. Um, so you can you can look after and nurture this body all your life. You know you can pop a few pills into it to make it feel better today, and you can go and get a massage here and whatever there. But if if you're not dealing with these emotions, you are not loving you really. You're just creating a false sense of security inside of yourself. To love you really, love your emotions. Love the feelings that are in you. All of them, painful, pleasurable, don't select them. Feel them. Express them. It's only the unreleased emotions inside of you that will come up. <coughs> do, do you follow me? Yeah. Like every emotion inside of you is either an emotion that you're feeling either right now or it's an emotion that's been frozen in time in the past that you've not allowed yourself to feel. Right? Set your intention to feel those emotions. Yeah. Right, so let's talk about that. In, in.